You want to boost your connection, lower your ping, and finally get rid of those lag spikes. In Fortnite, Exalag has been trusted by competitive players for years. And in today's video, I'll be breaking down exactly how it works, the best settings to use, and some new features they've just added. If this video helps you out in any way, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. And if you want to try Exalag yourself, there's a link in the description that gives you a discount. Just a quick heads up, Exalag works best if you already have a stable internet connection. Results may vary depending on where you live and how close to the service you are. So how does Exalag actually work? Exalag isn't a VPN, it's just a router optimizer. Basically, when you connect to a game server, your internet provider can send your data through a bunch of random paths before it actually reaches the server. Sometimes that means extra distance, extra traffic, and higher ping. Exalag fixes that by analyzing all possible routes in real time, then forcing your PC to use the fastest and most stable one. And if that route becomes congested, it automatically switches you over to a better one instantly that means lower ping fewer spikes and less packet loss getting started is super simple download exalag from their official site link in the description install and create an account they even give you a three-day trial no credit card needed now that you've logged in and you downloaded exalag search for the game you want to optimize for me that's fortnite click it choose your server region for example i'll select north america and let exalag analyze the routes then just hit apply routes and that's it you're optimized now let's set this up for the best performance possible go into your advanced settings set tpc routes to two and udp routes to two fortnite and most modern games use both so if anybody tells you other than that they're lying enable use local routes first then hit apply routes next head into pc boost disable windows performance counters turn on maximum priority for games turn on minimum priority for background processes then enable turn off network power saving and keep all cores active it may ask to restart your pc but we'll do that at the end now, under your general settings, turn on start automatically with Windows, activate when starting Exalag, minimize Exalag on tray close, turn on hardware data monitoring if you don't want it. Now for our root settings, accuracy and root optimization needs to be on high, key protocols for root analysis needs to be on automatic, disable real-time optimization, this setting just slows down your PC, you can't have it on if you have a faster PC, but if you're going more for the performance side, you can just keep this off. Enable smart optimization and high priority QoS, turn on dual routes and high udp ports now let's talk about the newest features added to exalag in patch 5.16 ram cleaner this frees up memory before you launch your game closing background apps while letting you whitelist the ones you need multi-internet you can now use multi-internet connections at the same time for example ethernet wi-fi or wi-fi 5g if one drops the other one will just keep you in the game ping for game sorted list it now automatically sorts servers by lowest ping so you can pick the best option instantly Discord login. Logging in is way faster if you're already using Discord. Now, Exalag also comes with a built-in traffic shaper. This lets you limit your internet connection speed to reduce buffer blow, which can massively help if other people in your house are using bandwidth. So that's Exalag. If you want to try it, grab it in the link in the description. Start it with a free trial and a discount on your subscription. Make sure you drop a like if this helped you out and subscribe for more PC optimization and gaming tips. Also, what video should I make next week?